Hi, I'm Dr Doug Bertram from the University of Strathclyde based in Glasgow and I'm here in Cornwall today at the site Water Power Technologies are testing the Venturo pump. We've been working with Water Power Technologies for the last year in the testing and development phase where they bring the Venturo you can see behind me to operation and to testing. And it's been a hugely successful project so far where we've been able to demonstrate that for zero energy input in terms of electrical grid connection or the use of petrol or diesel, this pump is able to provide a good supply of water to needs such as agriculture or power generation. We can see a lot of utility in this pump, both in the Scottish market in, in specific contexts, looking at maybe agriculture or perhaps hoping to get into the power supply market where we might be looking at this as a means of providing a pumped hydro storage potential. But we can also see a wider market in the international market, looking at countries such as uh, Uganda, Kenya, partners in Malawi, and even further afield abroad, countries like Colombia or in the Far East. Hello, my name's Phil Selwyn. I'm Founder and Technical Director of Water Power Technologies. We're here today to look at our new uh, development, which is called the Venturo Pump. 
It's a large scale, high volume, zero energy water pump, specifically designed for irrigation, for plantation and hydro power uses. This is the largest ram pump in the world with a 500 mil inlet pipe. What that means is we can flow about 250 litres a second through the pump, of which a proportion of that gets delivered to a much higher head. What we're monitoring here is the high volume output from this pump, uh, which is zero energy and therefore means that it uses no electricity, no fossil fuels, and therefore completely operates from the power of water itself. So the heart of the pump is the venturi valve, which sits in the centre here. And like all the venturi valves that we use in our systems, again, it's based on extremely simple physics. So what happens is the valve intermittently stops and starts the flow of water coming down the main supply pipe. And as it does that, it creates a high pressure flow, which is fed into this accumulator here, which smooths the flow out. So whereas the inlet will be a pulsed flow, the outlet will be smooth. So this is the exhaust port of the pump. And what makes these systems environmentally friendly is the fact that most of the water actually gets returned back into the water course again. Unlike traditional ram pumps, this pump has a self-regulating valve. So what that means is it's able to uh, make the 100% use of the water that's flowing. So in times of intermittent flows, the pump will automatically start and stop according to the flow that comes in. It does this by using this control valve system on the back, which is connected to a valve system up on the supply tank. So that when the level in the supply tank drops, it automatically shuts the valve off here, stops the pump working, and when the level picks up in the supply tank, it automatically switches the pump back on again. So therefore, you make 100% use of all the water that's used. The advantage of the Venturo system is its modularity. So whereas you just see the one pump here, what it means is uh, in regions where you've got high flows, big rivers, we can put a number of these pumps in series, which enables you to pump an awful lot more water to where you're going to need it. This technology is commonly referred to as ram pump technology. Uh, and anyone out there that's aware of old ram pump technology will instinctively notice how quiet this is in comparison. The reason this is achievable is because we completely redesigned the valve technology within the pump, which, as the name would suggest, Venturo, works on Venturo technology, as opposed to the old type flat valve, which caused a much of the noise that you would uh, hear with the alternative system. One of the major challenges today with climate change is the fact that we're getting more rainfall but it's becoming very much more uh, unreliable. You can get uh, high levels of rainfall in summer periods, low levels of rainfall in winter periods and any mixture in between. And what this technology enables us to do is actually utilise the benefit of that excess water to use the energy to pump it and store it where it could be used for a whole variety of uses and thereby mitigating some of the effects of climate change by being able to pump and store water without using fossil fuels to do that. Because the pump produces so much water, this enables us to store it in lagoons at a higher level and utilise it for hydropower generation through small turbines. Uh, the power from that can either be used on plantations or for various uh, in-house uses, or it can be sold to the grid uh, to generate extra income for those businesses. Another great advantage of this system is it's well suited for remote locations where there's no availability for electric supplies. And also storing fossil fuels in containers causes a health risk, apart from the additional element of the added running cost. This system has been designed to be maintained by people with very low skill sets uh, and with very simple tools. So it is basic equipment, can be repaired by most people in most locations. As many business owners will know, there's nothing worse than having unreliable equipment, which is both time consuming and expensive in terms of repairs, downtime and cost to the running of the business. This technology is as simple as we can get, and we claim that it's the most simplest pumping technology available in the world today. And what that means is that it enables us to deliver those cost benefits to the businesses and the end users. Um, and we are quite confident that there is nothing out there to better it. 
So you may ask, where did we come up with the idea of this type of pump from? Um, and the simple answer is, uh, we developed this over 25 years ago on a much smaller scale in units which we currently call the Papa Pump. And we've used that successfully on thousands of farms worldwide to produce uh, zero energy pumping for irrigation and livestock watering uses primarily. And this uh, Venturo system is a much scaled up version of the same technology which we currently have worldwide patents on uh, throughout the range. What we do at Water Power Technologies is we utilise the power from running water. Now, whether it's from the sky as rain, whether it's from the sea, whether it's from a river, stream or rooftop, we can utilise the energy in that flowing water and then create it into a higher pressure source where we can utilise it for many, many applications. The ethos of WPT is to design, create and manufacture extremely simple pumping equipment. We pride ourselves on the fact that we're able to minimise the parts involved in any pumping equipment, thereby enabling the end user to benefit from the simplicity and simple maintenance involved in the systems you produce.